So if we look at the walls, you will see there are no thermostats. Uh, this particular room has a bedroom there. We can see there's no thermostats on the wall. That's because it is controlled by the heater on the element itself or on the heater. So you can see here, we have a wall heater. This is powered by steam. And if we get a closer look, there's the uh, overflow valve. So if we see the overflow valve, then maybe we should look on the other side. And voila, there you have it. Uh, you see it's numbered one through five. Five being the hottest, so if it's turned down to one or anything below three, uh, that means the heat's not gonna come out. So turn it up to four or five, and you'll no you should notice heat coming into the into the heating system almost immediately. This one uh, happened that quick, but it still takes time to heat the room. As you can see, the curtains. Uh, we're not gonna identify the hotel. That's not important. What's important is the use of the heaters. So the curtains are in front of the heater, and so the heat is gonna to go to the window. Well, that's great. Okay, we're keeping the cold from coming in, but we're not really heating the room then. So what I did is I put all the curtains up on the shelf so the heat would come into the room, and the curtains can block the cold from coming in. Now the bathroom is a little bit different. We'll show you that here next. All right, sorry about the... Sorry about the fan noise. We're in the bathroom with lights on, the fan comes on automatically. So in the bathroom, different steam heater a little bit. So you can see here on the wall here, if we look real close, we can see there is a plus and minus. So you turn it towards the plus to add heat and you put it towards minus to reduce the amount of heat coming in. So that is how you work the heater in the bathroom. And again, you'll see there are no, no visible thermostats. The only way of controlling the heat is right there. Okay, just to give you a little different perspective. So this is our apartment and uh, we have wall heaters in the apartment. They're also steam. And here again, they have the, uh, the dial here. The problem with uh, a, an apartment in Germany is sometimes you get heat, sometimes you don't. Sometimes they turn the heat off at a certain month in the spring and don't turn it back on until the summer. And the problem with that is depending on where you live, you might, would, you might want to have some heat when it gets to be a cooler day outside and you have no control of that. Plus, a lot of times you have no control of the heat. So even if I, this is on, it is on five right now. Uh, and this heater is in the hallway. This is our best heater and it's in the hallway. Um, you have no control how much heat comes into each of the heaters. Uh, it's a big, to me that's a big complaint I have about uh, renting in Germany. Now you're wondering what this thing is here. This is the way somebody comes by with a meter and can electronically read that. That keeps track, I guess, of the heat that's put out in each of the heaters. And then they put those all together for each apartment to say, okay, this apartment's using this much, this apartment's using that much. So if you're going maybe over what you're supposed to in your rental agreement, they can charge you appropriately. So I just thought I'd add this in here for the heaters. Let me know if there's anything else you know would like to know about living in Germany or Europe. Thanks. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more from Les Fuller International.